Welcome to Tony's Bonsai. What have this Yamadori Scots pine, these two-year-old pine seedlings, and this Austrian pine got in common? The answer is, I don't really know what I'm doing with any of them. <laughs> However, my education is ongoing, and I'm going to start working on these two Scots pines. I bought them last spring, I applied some wire to them, I put them in slightly bigger pots and I just left them for the year. So I think now's the time to maybe apply a bit more wire or sort of decide what might be going on with them. Most of my pine education comes from a channel called Bonzify. He, he grows loads of pines, he's a bit of an expert, Japanese black pines and all that stuff. and. I'm kind of getting a feel slowly for what I should be doing. And with this tree, I curled this around initially, which I think was a good idea. I've got some bits of buds happening around and about, but if this is going to become the new apex, I think it just wants a tiny piece of wire just to move it up. I've just applied one single little piece of wire to this branch, and all I'm going to do is just bend that up in this kind of direction like that nothing crazy that'll do one of the things I've learnt about pines is there's so much planning that goes on in the early stages so this tree it's got a, a, a tiny little branch there this is going to become the new apex and this is a sacrificial trunk so this is just growing to add thickness however this is something I learned off uh, the Bonsify channel. If I'm going to cut this here, which I am, I really don't want that cut to be right on the top. I'd like that cut to be down the side at the back. So if this is the front of the tree, I want that down. Therefore, if I put a piece of wire on this, manipulate this round into a position like that, then that cut won't be as noticeable and that'll be a better tree. So I need to put some wire on this and put that bend in place. That wire has now been applied and what is it I was planning? Oh yeah, I want this cut here to be on the back. So this has to effectively become vertical. So as you're looking, you're going to be the back of the tree. There. That's got some interest in it. If I can put it like that, this is now going up. And I continued the wire on up here, so I can just add a little bit of interest to this branch as well. I don't want to do too much to this, but I will just... Just add a little bit like that. So I'm just putting a tiny bit there. And then, as I say, when I cut that now, boom, it's in a great place. And this branch, there's also a, a, an added bonus. And the added bonus is that this main leader can be allowed to grow and it's not going to cast any shade over these. So these will grow more healthily. Any buds that appear will be good because this is out of the way. And that's still going to go on and be the main, the, you know, the main source of energy. So I'll just leave this now for the year and see how that gets on. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Now to my Austrian pine. This is an interesting tree that I wired last year. It's got a few bits of buds appearing low down i put some basic movement into the trunk, but most of that movement has dropped out. I've got this as my new leader, hopefully. But I think I would like to put the movement back in, in order that I can get this mass away from all this lower section, because at the moment this is all shading out, this stuff. And I want the light to get into these lower branches, because these are going to be the future of the tree but I still want to leave this on for the time being to add some extra thickness to the trunk. 
So some thick wire on here and a bit of a bend is the order of the day, I believe. I've just applied a coil of six and a half millimeter aluminum wire. And then I added a second piece down at the base because this lower section, I really want to be able to get some crank on it. And so I thought I need a double wire down here. I didn't use any vet tape because I wanted to avoid damaging the couple of buds that exist on the trunk. So it's now just time to see if I can bend this over. And as I say, I want to get that bend low down if possible. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's what I want. So the bend's happening fairly low. I'll go again. That's... Uh, there we go. That's as much as I can get on that. And that, that's the result I wanted, because now it's freed up this branch. So this is a nice branch. This is going to be the new apex. I mean, ideally, it'd be nice if I could bend it over just a touch more, just to get this cut sort of a bit lower down. So I will just have a little go. Just avoiding all the buds again. And just seeing if I can... Just go, there we go. I just got a bit more in it there. That worked nicely. Yeah. And uh, the bend's back on. It's not that easy to see because I've just been digging around in the soil and I realised there's, there's more trunk down here in this tree coming up there. So it's really got a lovely natural S shape and coming up here. Um, and the question now is what to do from here. We've got two nice branches that I've done some work on to remove some sort of dead, dead pieces. And this branch here is one that I wired last year. I applied a very, well, no, I didn't do it last year. I did it in the summer. I removed it about six weeks later. It had really scarred deeply. And a lot of this scarring has already healed. It's pretty much disappeared, which is phenomenal. It must be in great health to have, I mean, these were half the way through the branch. But what has happened as well is this was right down there and it's kind of popped up. And I think I would like to get that back down a bit further into position so I'm going to apply another piece of wire on top of that but this time I am going to use vet tape again I've applied two pieces of I think this is six millimeter it could be six and a half I'm not sure six millimeter wire there's one longer piece and then a shorter piece that just covers this section that I'm going to bend really now I just want to get some bend into this it shouldn't be as difficult as last time because the wood is already going in that direction, so it's already been pre-bended. And all I'm going to do, you won't be able to see this too much from there, because my hands are going to cover it, because I'm supporting it. And all I'm doing is just getting that bend back in there. There. Oh, I'm happy with that much better much better it's back how i wanted it and again when i remove this wire it will spring up a bit as they always do if i look at it from that direction now it's got this nice movement that way as well which is good as i rotate this tree round you can see from this position here that it's got a nice side movement as well so it comes over and to the side and ultimately it this is going to be the new the new sort of apex of the tree so if possible i'd like to move this other branch sort of down out of the way a bit more i've not really got enough wire coming up here for this but let's see if i can just 
Now that's it. So all I'm doing is grabbing this branch here like that and just again putting this branch on the top and this one out of the way so that when I make that cut it's sort of at the side and that cut will be at the back of the tree. The only thing I would like to do is compact this a bit and bring all of this forward so I can do that just with this six millimeter wire there so if I can bring that like that keep hold of that and just twist that down and I think that's uh, that's getting somewhere that sometimes in bonsai you work on trees and after it you think oh that didn't go as according to plan but Every now and again you work on a tree like this and you think, you know, that's really coming together. I think that could be something in the future and uh, I'm very happy with this one. So, I said, as I said at the beginning, you know, I'm not a pine expert. I'm still learning all about pines, trying to watch videos on YouTube and reading up and stuff. But, you know, part of my learning process is getting hands on and sort of practicing and letting these ideas really sink in. So, I hope you've enjoyed following me today. I'll be unwiring these trees in the spring or maybe in the summer and showing you how they're doing. So you know what to do if you want to keep track. But as always, have a great day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.